Hey, what's up, y'all? Everybody out there, I wanted to bring you another video. Um, kind of a uh, lazy guy, how to eat better, um, whether you're trying to lose weight or gain muscle or get ripped for summer or, you know, whatever else uh, there is. Or maybe, you just, maybe you're just bored and you're on YouTube surfing right now. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so, first of all, one of the major things you can do, and this is something that I've heard, it's kind of cliche, but uh, it's a perfect phrase, and that is that bodies are not made in the gym, bodies are made in the kitchen. And that could not be more true. See, you're in the gym, uh, you know, or you're working out maybe, I don't know, a max of, you know, really honestly, you shouldn't be working out more than probably 7 to 10 hours a week. Uh, most, most workouts should not take you longer than 45 minutes to an hour. So uh, that's just something good to keep in mind. Moving forward, though, um, with food, uh, it can actually be quite easy and um, cost-effective and uh, as, as well as uh, time-effective for you to adopt a, a couple of different habits when it comes to eating. So let's just go quickly down the list and I'm going to help you. Uh, first of all is not cooking at all. You should like this one a lot. Actually, um, I don't usually recommend uh, any mainstream uh, fast food restaurants or, or restaurants, period, if you're trying to eat super healthy. But uh, I got to give it to Subway. Um, Subway, there are ways to eat healthy at Subway. Okay, it may not be the healthiest, but eating Subway is definitely healthy. Now, you can get an app from Subway so you can program an order in and just hit a button and find a store, depending on what part of town you're in, and they can have your food ready in like 15 or 30 minutes. So that's something also good to keep in mind if you're one of those uh, time-minded individuals like I am. Uh, finally, when you do go to Subway, you want to get the honey oat bread, okay? This is high in fiber. You don't want to get the processed cheese. You don't want to get pepperoni or salami, okay? Those are like extremely processed meats. Um, get the feta cheese if you need cheese. The honey oat bread is high in fiber, so it's good for you because it's going to help you, you know, help your digestive system. Also, it's going to keep you full longer. Now, when you get your vegetables at Subway, what you should not get, do not get the olives, do not get the pepperoncinis. Um, do not get any pickles. I know you're saying, like, don't get any fun stuff. But basically what you want to do is get everything that is fresh and not pickled. So that's going to be lettuce, spinach, tomatoes, green peppers, cucumbers, onions, avocado, cilantro. Um, am I leaving anything out? Did I say tomatoes? Anyway, uh, so those are actually the items you want to get on your sandwich. Then, um, you know, mustard is basically harmless for you, so you can get a lot of that. Um, they usually have light mayonnaise, no big deal there. And then some oil and vinegar, salt and pepper, and you're good to go. If you got to eat chips, eat the Sun Chips. Sun Chips have more um, fiber uh, uh, than any other potato chip out there, and they're actually not made out of potatoes. So, if you're out and about and you need a healthy solution, you can eat at Subway. You can make good things happen with Subway. Don't get a Coke, though. Get their, uh, I don't know what kind of iced tea they have, but get their green tea or you know, get some tea or something, uh, low calorie uh, beverage, don't get the soda. You can actually um, achieve a pretty decent body eating Subway on a regular basis in my opinion. Now finally when it comes to cooking for yourself, because you're going to have to do that, number one on the list is you want Tupperware. All right, Tupperware is going to save your butt and it is going to allow you to cook um, for only an hour or two and then have food for the next three days. So whenever you cook, plus when you get vegetables at the store, fruits and vegetables, I don't know about you, but going to the grocery store is not my idea of fun. And putting all the vegetables in the little bags and then the fruits in the little bags and you know you can't put that many and you're gonna be it's it just feels like you live in the grocery store produce section after about a minute, right? Because you're like, I feel like a I feel like all I do is buy vegetables and fruits, like I'm stuck in the twilight zone or something. So um, you want to have a nice sturdy Tupperware to put your vegetables in so that way you can keep them fresh for like a week at a time. And that way you can just swing by the grocery store whenever you need to pick up like a protein. Um, this is going to save you a lot of time. Now also having the Tupperware again is so that you can make a giant meal and then basically store it so that you don't have to keep cooking day in and day out because again, I don't know about you, uh, there's nothing I hate more than cooking. and to be honest, if I could just cut out eating completely, as if I didn't need to do it, I would just go ahead and do that, but unfortunately I need to eat. I just find cooking boring and um, 
maybe you feel the same way. But certainly these are ways uh, for you to um, get in the habit of making healthier choices. So when you buy food, uh, definitely stay away from, stay away from dairy, uh, stay away from milk, um, stay away from white bread. If you buy wheat bread, make sure it's just like the most amazing bread you've ever seen, full of seeds and nuts and lots of fiber per slice. Um, if you can and you can afford it, try to buy as much organic produce and fruits and vegetables as you can. Um, definitely stick to kale. Kale is a good staple. And I found that even eating um, salads, uh, as long as it's got plenty of vegetables, I can throw on tons of like um, fairly healthy dressing and it's not a problem for me. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, you want to get plenty of protein because protein is what's going to keep you full and also mentally alert. Uh, it's going it's to help you feel just better overall and help you for your workouts. And then finally, the big secret is fiber. Fiber is what's going to keep you full in between meals. So uh, an easy source of fiber is apples. Again, for me, not fun to eat, but if you can eat an apple in between a meal, it usually spaces out your hunger, so that way you're not likely to snack on chips or buy candy or anything like that. Well, um, this has just been a short video uh, about uh, things that you can do for your diet to help you lose weight or to get ripped up or whatever it is you want to do. Um, hopefully this has helped and um, I'm just going to finish it out with a victory pose. Alright, see you on the next one.